this is a short, not in-depth review on the Anchor Soundcore Flare waterproof speaker. Here you can see the complete packaging. We have uh, some kind of carton paper, uh, some kind of carton paper. We have plastic, some kind of carton strong paper, usual paper, plastic, usual paper, and usual paper. And as far as I can see, there's no recycle sign or anything on this. So I guess the paper is rainforest paper, uh, which destroys the planet. So uh, at least one minus point for that. And the plastic is usual plastic, burnable, not recyclable. So another minus point for that. So packaging is really not nice. The reason why I bought this speaker in the first place was because it has a 3.5 millimeter jack in the back so it doesn't only work on Bluetooth. According to the lady in the store, when it works on Bluetooth or with the jack, it works for about 12 hours. The usability critic points are 1. You have stones for starting, stopping and con connecting to Bluetooth and you cannot go to a very low uh, volume, sound volume. Although, very good point is that you can turn it very loud. And it has a nice bass feature and you can turn on and off the bass with a button click here. Okay, but that being said, so let's listen to the sound first. This is the sound you have when you turn it on. This is the sound that it makes while it's searching for a Bluetooth device. So when I push this button again, you have this sound. And now let's connect to Bluetooth. And let's disconnect Bluetooth. Oh, no sound for that. I thought there was a sound for that too. Okay, but if we turn it off. Okay. So the sound itself is pretty nice, right? But um, there are situations, maybe when you when you want to turn it on silently, um, that sound might be disturbing and I personally don't like it so that's a minus point for me. And now let's play some song then. You should be able to see that here's the volume regulator, let's turn this on. So with the volume buttons here, this is like the lowest volume, which is already pretty loud for like in the room especially when you listen to in the night. So this is probably the most silent one. On the other hand, it can get very loud. And we're only here, right? So we can't go really far here, but the lower volume is the big problem here. That's so far about the speaker for this review. Like I said, not in depth, but I hope uh, you got kind of a reference here. Thank you very much for watching.